This video is going to show you a modification I did to allow me to charge batteries for a drill master on a Chicago electric charger. Let me explain that a little bit. These two impact drivers that you see are the low end and high end of what Harbor Freight sells for most of their power tools, their cordless stuff. They have a basic version and a pro version. Uh, the batteries on these are both 18 volt NICAD batteries but the chargers they come up with are very different. Um, the charger for Chicago Electric looks like that. It's a quick charger. It charges the battery in about an hour. The charger for the other one looks like that. This is a uh, four hour charger. It's kind of a cap that you put on the battery. So, I didn't want to wait four, four hours to charge that kind of battery because up until today I didn't even have one of these. I want to use the cheaper drill. I use it for work um, where it's not a big deal to lose a $20 tool, but a $50 tool is more of a problem. So, how am I going to do this? I need to be able to charge batteries quickly on the fly. Um, so, what I did was I actually took another one of these chargers and I built this kind of combining the two so you can see this one is charging right now and what I've got here is the cap that way that it fits the other battery and it just runs through a wire into this charger so the difference in these two batteries is this one will not physically fit on that charger you have to have this cap the other difference is this is a two pole you look at that that is just two pins there's no spot for a third one and then this has three connectors so if you were to just hook this up to a regular uh, battery charger even if you could fit it on there it, it wouldn't like it because it doesn't have that third terminal so what are we going to do about that third terminal uh, let's open this up all right gonna open this up real quick and show you what's inside I've done a previous video on this where I had made the incorrect modification I thought it would work but it didn't so this is all you need to do um, you basically need to jumper the middle pin which is a thermal thermal uh, switch that comes from the battery pack you need to jumper that to ground so I've got it run to a switch you could just um, bridge across it straight across with a wire but I wanted to do this because I thought um, this way, if I ever want to use the regular batteries and I want it to use the temperature sensing, um, then I can switch that switch off. So I put a switch through the side. Fold this back up. I've got a switch through the side here. When that is on, then the two are jumpered. When it's off, then it's not. So I'll show you the difference that that makes. Uh, with the switch off, it goes back to basically being an unmodified battery charger. So let me put the screw back in here. Hang on a second. Gotta have both hands for this part. Bear with me. Okay. All right, we're back. So, trying to get the lighting good here. Um, so yeah, what we've got, this battery charger can still charge regular batteries, um, but its main purpose now is to charge these. And no, before anybody asks, you cannot charge them at the same time. That's just foolish. So this is what it's like if you were to just hook it up straight uh, without doing any uh, internal modifications. If you could somehow plug it on there, this is what it says. Oh, I'm not getting anything from that temperature probe. But as soon as you switch the switch to on, then it says, oh, there it is. And then it begins charging the battery. 
So that, you'll notice, is the same thing as the other one is doing. It's got the green light solid on and it's flashing the red light. Uh, and of course this can still charge the other type of battery because the charger hasn't been modified. All you have to do is plug it on there and it starts charging. I would switch this off just uh, so that you're using the internal temperature sensor instead of kind of the dummy switch. Um, yes, you can hook them both up at the same time, but like I said, I don't recommend that uh, because I don't really know what's going to happen. The uh, It's basically you've put both battery packs in series and or both you're charging both at the same time, which it's not going to know which one's finished first. The one that gets done first is probably going to get overcharged. So this is what it's intended for. Um, so, uh, yeah, I would uh, I would recommend this to anybody who's comfortable with electronics and is not too worried about, um, you know, setting things on fire. If you're comfortable with your electrical skills, this is not a very difficult thing to do. You will need one fast charger, one slow charger, some wires, and a switch if you want to be able to switch it back and forth. Otherwise, just uh, wire it straight. And you'll be able to charge just like the fast chargers with the cheaper batteries. Thanks for watching.